Okay, so now we're going to start working with, with the pen tool. So the pen tool is a precision drawing instrument. Uh, we already have uh, a pencil and a brush if you want to draw freehand or free form. So the pen tool allows me to make precision edits, precision shapes in my document. So think of it as uh, a T-square and a French curve all rolled up into one. Now, the pen tool is a very powerful tool, but there is a, uh, a bit of a learning curve with the pen tool. So my suggestion is you work with it a little bit, put it down, and then come back and work with it a little bit more. And as time goes on, you'll be able to work with the pen tool effectively. Um, the pen tool is important in Illustrator. Uh, and learning how to use the pen tool is an important part of understanding the mechanics of Illustrator. And one of the things that we're going to do is begin to understand how to go in and modify and edit the individual nodes, how to join, how to slice, how to open the individual nodes. So we're taking it down another step. Now, what's, what else is interesting about the pen tool is that learning the pen tool in Illustrator will help you with half a dozen other Adobe applications. For instance, the uh, Photoshop application actually features a, a suite of vector tools. So understanding how to use the vector tools in Illustrator will help you with understanding how to use the vector tools in Adobe and Photoshop. Um, and so there's a pen tool in Photoshop, there's a pen tool in InDesign, and they work pretty much the same. So understanding how to use them here will actually give you a insight and a leg up on a bunch of other applications. So let's go in and let's start with the pen tool. And we'll do a series of exercises to uh, understand this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tear off on the pen tool. And you'll see that there's the pen tool. There's the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and the anchor point tool. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to grab my shape tool and I'm going to draw two shapes. And I'll, I'll fill the shape. And I'm going to draw a shape that's a rectangle and I'm going to draw a shape that's an ellipse. Okay, so now I'm, I'm going to go through how to use some of these uh, different pen tool options. So let's start by clicking on this uh, rectangle here. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at the anchor point tool. So what this allows me to do is to go in, click into an anchor point and manipulate it. So remember, the anchor points are going to be on the sides and the corners of the shape. When I click on the shape with the black selection tool, I can see where the anchor points all are. I click on the anchor point tool. Now right now, the whole shape is selected. We can click into that anchor point and drag. And so what happens when I click into that anchor point and drag, I'm dragging clockwise, is that I'm converting that anchor point. It converts, convert, anchor point converts from right angles to curves. So what I've done, is I've taken that square and turned it into a circle. It's not a perfect circle, but it's a circle nonetheless. I'm gonna grab the black selection tool and click away. Now I'm gonna select the circle and I'm gonna grab the anchor point tool. And I know that there are anchor points on each of the ends. And in this case, I'm not going to drag, I'm just gonna click. And what I'm doing is I'm converting that into angles. And there we go. So what we did here was we took the circle and turned it into a square and the square and turned it into a circle. So I can go back in with that anchor point tool and drag and turn the shape back into, I'm clicking and dragging clockwise. I can turn this back into a circle. And then I'll grab my black selection tool, click away and I'm gonna select the shape up here and I'm gonna turn this back into a square by clicking into each one of those anchor points. Now, let's look at the next thing we want to cover is the add anchor point tool. So once again, I'm going to select the shape, 
grab the anchor, add anchor point tool and when I click everywhere I click I'm adding an additional anchor point and that's another place where the shape can be manipulated. Now after I add those anchor points I can use uh, the sub selection tool to manipulate them. So I come down, grab my direct selection tool, I click on the path and then I can click into that shape onto that node and begin to manipulate the shape and I've added an additional point where the shape can be modified or manipulated. And that's what the add anchor point tool allows me to do is add additional anchor points along the shape. Now I can also do that to my circle here. If I select it, grab my add anchor point tool, click and add an anchor point. Notice that because the shape is curved, the anchor points have my bezier handles. Once again, after I've created those handles, I can click with my direct selection tool and begin to manipulate the shape by selecting those nodes and moving them and then grabbing the handles and adjusting them as well. So that is my add anchor point tool. If I'm working with the shape and the shape is curved, it's gonna add a curved anchor point. If I'm working with the shape and the shape is comprised of right angles, then it's gonna add uh, another angled anchor point in there. And then let's go over and look at the delete anchor point tool. Like you've probably already guessed what this does is it deletes an anchor point. Now you have to be precise. If you miss, it'll say, please use the direct the delete anchor point tool on an anchor point of a path. So just gotta make sure you click right in there. Now the cool thing is it's a lot easier to do this than it used to be in Illustrator um, because it kind of the nodes kind of pop open a little bit where before that didn't happen. I'm going to select the shape and do the same thing. Grab my delete anchor point tool, find that anchor point and click and you'll see that when I click that anchor point, what I'm doing is I'm taking those anchor points out of the shape and it just takes the shape and closes it, keeps it closed, but gets rid of the anchor point. So that's my anchor, uh, anchor point and my delete anchor point and my add anchor point tool.